all of our soldiers uh, fought valiantly that day. Um, and there were a series of contributing factors uh, to what occurred in Tongo Tongo, but none of those contributing factors are the direct cause of the enemy attack in Tongo Tongo. The direct cause of the enemy at attack in Tongo Tongo is that the enemy achieved tactical surprise there, and our forces were outnumbered approximately three to one. So there's a series of, of um, uh, findings that we have identified from pre-deployment training through the relief in place, the transfer between the outgoing team and the incoming team, some basic soldier skills and requirements that they should have executed, uh, as was previously addressed, uh, previously addressed by General Walthauser. There was the, the concept of operation that was not properly characterized. And then there were some processes uh, at all levels of the chain of command that need to be improved. U.S. Vehicles 1 and 3 came under overwhelming enemy machine gun fire, preventing Sergeant LaDavid Johnson from entering his vehicle. Believing Sergeant Johnson was in control of his vehicle, the driver of U.S. Vehicle 1 accelerated hard to the northwest. Unable to enter U.S. Vehicle 3, Sergeant Johnson and two partner Nigerians became separated from U.S. Vehicle 1. The Nigerian soldiers were killed with small arms fire roughly 400 meters from position 2. Sergeant Johnson evaded for an additional 450 meters and reached the only concealment in the vicinity, a single thorny tree. At this position, he continued to fight. An enemy vehicle armed with a mounted heavy machine gun, stopped within 100 meters of Sergeant Johnson's location, firing on his position and cutting off further escape while enemy forces closed in. <laughs> 